The conventional turn procedure utilized by those who make flying look easy, starts with a smooth, yet brief, in and out aileron input to bank the wings. The aileron input is neutralized to avoid entering a downward spiral, and then up elevator is applied to pull the nose into a turn, and to keep the turn level. The size of the aileron input determines the degree of bank, and therefore the size of the turn, as well as how much elevator will be needed to keep the turn level. For example, a smaller aileron input produces a shallower bank, and therefore a wider turn. Whereas, a larger aileron input produces a steeper bank, and a tighter turn. A quick return to neutral speeds up getting to the next required input of up elevator before any altitude is lost. Note that during a mild bank, most of the wing's lift is still opposing the pull of gravity, and thus very little up elevator is needed to keep the turn level. During a steeper bank, there's less upward component of lift to oppose gravity, thus more up elevator is required to keep the turn level. Returning the stick to neutral between inputs provides a distinct point from which to gauge the size of each of your control inputs, therefore making correct amounts easier to repeat, and incorrect amounts easier to modify correctly. For example, if your initial turn is too tight, reducing the size of your aileron input next time, will result in a shallower bank and wider turn. Or, if you initially pull too much elevator and affect a climbing turn, next time repeat the same aileron input, but pull less elevator from neutral and the turn should be level. Performing a procedure turn can be summed up by the motto, trust, then adjust. That is, concentrate on initiating each turn trusting your procedure, then fine-tune the amount of elevator you are pulling to keep the turn level. If you see the plane start to lose altitude during the turn, pull more elevator. If the plane starts to climb, lessen the amount of elevator that you're pulling throughout the remainder of the turn. Keep in mind that as a rule, it is easier to add more input than it is to recover after over-controlling. Therefore, the best procedure is to target a small amount of elevator at the start of a turn. Then fine-tune the elevator, if necessary, to maintain a perfectly level turn. At the point that you want to exit the turn, neutralize the elevator and smoothly apply opposite aileron to level the wings. The key to applying the aileron in the correct direction, is reminding yourself which way you're turning, and anticipating opposite aileron before it's time to correct. Ultimately, remembering which way to apply the aileron to level the wings will hinge on how well you maintain level turns. That's because a level turn is obviously less stressful and affords more time to think. In fact, a pilot who is prioritizing keeping the turn level can get away with correcting the wrong direction, catch the mistake, and level the wings correctly with minimal altitude loss. Whereas, correcting the wrong way during a diving turn can spell disaster. In the event that a turn needs to be tightened or restarted, the correct procedure is to smoothly apply a small bump of aileron in the direction of the turn, while continuing to hold in the elevator. Most importantly, the aileron bump needs to be brief in and out, not held in. As a rule, it would be safer to apply a subsequent second bump restart than to hold in the aileron and risk entering a spiral. A washed out bank and turn could occur for several reasons, therefore you cannot always anticipate the need for a restart. When you see it's needed, then apply it. All the while, Keep adjusting the elevator to keep the turn level.